Every DIY person should have a basic toolkit and I'm going to run through a few things that I think are important. The first things are good quality safety glasses and some earmuffs. I also recommend some gloves. Leather ones are excellent, particularly if you're working with some rough timbers. Everyone needs a hammer in their toolbox. Hammers are useful for so many things. You can even crack the walnuts at Christmas time. A wrecking bar is optional. This might be useful if you're taking nails out of some old timber or you need to lift up some old concrete or brickwork. Also a good quality handsaw will make cutting timber and also some PVC piping quite easy. Everyone needs a retractable measuring tape. You can buy this in millimetres and imperial inches and a good quality carpenter's pencil. Some screwdrivers. These will come in a set. You can have a large set or a small set, depending on what you think your needs will be. A corking gun will also be useful for putting in some silicon or some glue. A few other tools you might need will include some pliers and maybe an adjustable wrench, an adjustable spanner and some clamps for clamping everything down, particularly if you're going to cut something. If you've got a little bit extra money or you've got some friends that need to buy you something for Christmas, invest in some power tools or some cordless tools. These will make life so much easier when it comes to screwing in screws, drilling holes and things like that. You can buy these in a pack from Bunnings or you can buy them separately. Get the ones with the long life lithium batteries. They will give you the best results and last the longest between charging. The cordless drill and driver set are probably the most handy thing that you'll have in your kit. The batteries are easy to remove and interchangeable between drills and other tools. This one is the drill itself. For this you can put in drill bits and driver pieces. The other one is designed mainly for just driving in. For your drill, you can also buy additional driver sets with different profiles, depending on which job you're doing. For example, decking. Another item you should have in your toolbox is a small spirit level. Good for getting those picture frames in the right place or for drawing a straight line. And of course, you're going to need to store all these things in something. Get yourself a good quality tool bag. You can store the bag in your garage, in the pantry, laundry, wherever you wish. But at least everything's going to be together, so when you've got that DIY job to do, everything's with you. If you're feeling a little more adventurous or you've got a few more skills, there's a few other tools that you might like to add to your kit. A hacksaw is always handy if you need to cut some metal, pipes or threads, things like that. Some chisels and a nail punch, particularly if you're going to do some decking or a little bit more timber work. A good quality mitre square is also handy to have. This will allow you to mark things at a perfect 90 degree angle or a 45 degree angle. A utility knife, always handy. Cuts plastic, rubber, whatever you might need. A metal file is also handy if you've been cutting some pipes or something and you just need to take those rough edges off the side. You might consider some open end spanners and even a full socket set. These are just a few extra things you could consider to go in your toolkit. Done.